there, Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy here, and today I'm excited to show you how to utilize multiple artboards. So, what you're going to do is when you open up a new file, by going either to File, New, or Command N, uh, you can see here there's an option for number of artboards. And so you can choose however many you want. Um, I'll just do four for now. You can choose your spacing, uh, number of rows, and even how they show up in Illustrator. Um, and then you have the normal things with height and bleed, if you want to include a bleed or not. I'm not going to right now. And then once you have all that set, you just click OK. And as you can see here, I have four different white spaces. So these are each their own artboard. And so what this means is if I were to add, the, add my designs in here and save it as an Illustrator file or a PDF, it would show up in multiple pages, starting from uh, left to right and then going down. This would be page one, page two, page three, page four. So, um, but what if you're already in a file, like I am here, and I already have my designs completed, but it's all on one artboard, but I, and I want to save these all separately. So it's really easy to do. All you need to do is go to the artboard tool, or shift and O, um, and, and you can scale this to whatever size you want. Okay, and then you can just add more artboards and they can be any shape and size you want. But if you want them to all be the same size, then you can just click this new artboard button up here. And see how that just lets me drag a new artboard that's the exact same size as the one I just did. So that makes it really easy for me to just add another artboard. I'm going to keep doing that. My four different Mickey Mouse designs. I'm going to Disneyland in a couple weeks and I'm really excited. That's why I've been designing Disney stuff. <laughs> okay, so there we have it. Now all four of my Mickey Mouse designs are on different artboards. And so if I were to save this as a PDF, like I said, these would all show up in one file, but on different pages. But um, I want these all to be separate files. So I'm going to go to File, Export, and then I'm going to just find a folder I want to save it in. I'm going to save these as PNGs so they can have transparent backgrounds. And you're going to need to select Use Artboards for this. And this is where you can decide if you want to save out each artboard separately or um, if you want to just do one or one through two you can set your range in there. But I'm going to just do all for this one. Click export and you can see your resolution, background color obviously, I want transparent. Click OK. Let's see how we did. Now you can see they all saved as totally separate files which is exactly what I wanted. So there you go. Now you can see how multiple artboards can be utilized and have fun. <laughs>